Hello, hello, my friend. Amner Hunter here from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you in another video. This time around, and like every week, I bring you a couple of cool freebies, uh, new free VSTs that caught my attention. And also, I want to share with you a couple of uh, new deals and also test these plugins out all right as usual i will leave you all of the applicable links in the video description and first comment and i will also leave you timestamps in case that you want to move around between the mini segments of the video and, and if you are watching the video after the live stream ended all right uh, let's go quickly through the plugins we're gonna covering up to uh covering up today first we have this beautiful uh, granular reverb plugin by Linda Audio. Unfortunately, it's available only for Windows. It's called Stargazer. It's available for free, of course. Then we have this you know, amazing uh, synthesizers from the late 70s, a Korg synth, and this is an emulation but by Full Bucket Music. Amazing emulation, and it's available for Windows, Mac, also Clap, Linux, and it's available for free as well. We're going to be checking out also this uh, huge deal of the uh, latest release by August Rose Audio, an awesome 808 Tube Screamer Overdrive called Foxteen that currently has a $2.49 price here at the website. There is a free trial available and we're going to be checking out also the brand new release by Mastering the Mix, awesome dynamic processor called Fuser and we're gonna be uh, checking what's all about this new release all right and it's ha it has an introductory price of 59 bucks at the moment there is also a free trial available of this before we begin with the content let me invite you quickly to my website amnonhunted.com where you can get some additional freebies such as some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also some free tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out uh, this channel or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with content like this. Let me know if you are here in the live chat. I'm going to be very happy to read your comments, greetings, uh, questions, anything really. I have here a uh, Joey. Hey man, again, thank you for everything you do. It's always appreciated. Hello, Joey. My pleasure, my friend. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Acoustic. Hello, Acoustic and Sound Healer as well. Happy to be here, my friends. And uh, all right, let's begin. And I'm gonna respond some of your questions uh, after these um, these plugins and demos and review. All right. So let's go quickly here, quickly to my session, and let's begin. Right, let's begin with the Linda Audio brand new release. This is an amazing, uh, beautiful granular shimmer reverb plugin. All right, it has three main modules. Here in the upper part of the plugin, you have the delay and reverb uh, algorithm and controls. And uh, also, then here in in red, you have the shimmer rate, uh, generator granular generator. It will create amazing, huge um, uh, reverb sounds uh, that can be work uh, that can work great on synthesizers, uh, leads, uh, vocals as well. It they will uh, you will have a very lush, a very atmospheric, huge reverb sound with also um, octaves, right? Octave up, octave down of the main signal pretty cool you're gonna hear that in a moment and you have you have here the modulation right these are the three modules so here in the reverb you have long reverb or normal you have the pretty delay, the size of the room the feedback the density of the reverb the width right it's mono towards the left and stereo and you have also a high pass to remove some lows and a low pass to remove some highs and then here in the shimmer generator, you can have it single, uh, double, also fast or slow attack, octave down and up, the grain size, right? More grains, 
octave feedback and shimmer mix this is like a blend right of the uh, shimmer and granular effect in um towards the reverb and then you have the modulation it's like uh, a bit of a chorusing effect uh, some of that like organized mode amp it adds more a uh, bit of uh, gain and speed of the modulation you have two modes here so let's uh, of course you have a wet dry functionality here and you can start to increase it if you have it zero here start to increase it till uh, you find your to your liking let's uh, check it out here check it out by default first right that amazing tail and granular effect uh, even like melodies and stuff you can hear it in the in the reverb itself so let's put back the reverb the shimmer sorry and the gra granular effect and let's take a listen only to the reverb right it's got some lows some highs smaller feedback right this becomes a bit more like endless tail if you increase it the size right it ends but in a very very uh, long period of time awesome I'm uh, really a sucker for these type of reverse and delays uh, so let's bring back the shimmer and granular effect right you can have an octave down octave up green size Right, beautiful, beautiful sounding reverb by Linda Audio. Let's also check it out in this uh, synthesizer's uh, type of organ uh, sound here. This is like Hammond, right? Beautiful. beautiful beautiful large tails right there let's move on with the next plugin in this list the other free one this is the NY by full bucket music an amazing um, Korg synthesizer from the late 70s and this is an, an emulation of that synthesizer and it includes a couple of uh, main features with which is the percussive elements and the ensemble elements right here uh, you can like add more like electric in the percussive part of it 
electric piano, clavichord, piano, harmonics, and on the ensemble you can add like strings, a couple of strings, uh, choirs, and organ, brass, right? Like that. And you, you have also effects as well. You can add chorus to both of them. You can um, detune and accentuate as well, tone. You have here the volume, right? You double click, for instance, here and it resets to default. And here you have the panning left and right. You have the volume for the ensemble, so you can blend in a very cool way the ensemble sounds and the percussive sounds, right? You're going to hear that in a moment and you can also pan them like that. Octave up like that. And you have modulation, brass, vibrato and chorus phase here. Alrighty. And you have a lot of amazing presets here. 63 to be more precise or 62. More, uh, more, more or less. All right. So let's take a listen to the initial sound here, the classic strings. Let's check it out here. Uh, weird. I don't have sound. What? Why is that? <laughs> uh, what happened? Let me put it again here. It's the NY. There you go. Let's leave the percussive. This doesn't have. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Amazing, amazing sounds. There you have the ensembles, for instance, and let's put only the percussive. Nice blend of them. In the center or stereo, full on stereo. Right? Yeah, the percussive. Let's go here to another set of presets. Right, amazing stuff. All right, and let's go to the next plugin in this list, the first paid one. This one costs only 249 bucks at August Rose uh, Studio. So this is an emulation of the 14 uh, Tube Screamer 808, originally from Ibanez, right? But uh, 14 made uh, an, an alternate version of, of the Tube Screamer Ibanez with more aggression, and August Rose uh, made it into the plugin, right? So this this goes before the amp amplifier, right? Any amp head, amp plugin or something. And this will give you more aggression, more tightness, and also will control 
better the low end, especially in down-tuned guitars and heavy guitars, you know, when you are palm muting the heavy chugs and stuff like that. So here you have, uh, you turn off and turn on the plugin. You have overdrive, tone, and level. This overdrive increases the saturation and distortion, right? And then this will darken the sound to the left and brighten the sound to the right. Okay, the level, the the amount of of the effect. You have also a gate included here. Very, very cool to remove some hiss or something that you might have due to the high gain of the amp head. And you have also pre filters and post filters, uh, high pass and low pass, right? So these uh, these filters will give you more control in the low end, especially if, if if you increase this, for instance, at 90, 100 hertz, it will uh, make a cut in the lows. Uh, but um, the the algorithm, the the saturation that goes into the amp, it's not high passing these the overall guitar sound. It's just high passing the the sound before the amp um, with overdrive with overdriven sound. And you have three types of high passes here right more steep or more like uh, rounder curves here the same with the um, uh, low pass here and you have a blend control or mix from 0 to 100 and input and output and some presets right by default it's like that so this is the sound of a rhythm guitar guitars with without it Right, sounds great and all, but we can uh, we can make it uh, more aggressive, but tighter, right? That could be a bit too much, so let's uh, uh, just de decrease a bit the controls here. And also listen to the low end, right? Without the plugin engaged, uh, you hear the lows more full, and it sounds great uh, in solo, the guitars, right, by themselves. But in a full mix, you need to control the low end better to uh, give space to the bass guitar and kick drum, for instance, especially in metal, right? So that's why uh, this, uh, these filters come in handy. Uh, so, for instance, 80 hertz and 80, the pre and post high pass, right? So, all the saturation. Super, super cool, super aggressive, but in a good way. Okay, and finally, let's check out the brand new release by Mastering the Mix. I love Mastering the Mix plugins. Uh, most of their plugins are based on or powered by artificial intelligence that uh, do a lot of the groundwork for you uh, right, right from the get-go and therefore they leave you the sounds very very much uh ready right so this plugin is no exception and this is an uh, automatic automatic dynamic processor that will control conflicting frequencies between two sources for instance the kick drum 
with the bass or for instance the vocals with some distorted guitars or the vocals with piano synthesizers or stuff like that so it will resolve conflicts uh, frequency wise right so it will carve out space uh, dynamically in real time and also it will um, avoid the comp conflict of two sources with the use of phase rotation right i'm going to explain that also in an example here is the control for the phase rotation from minus 180 to plus 180 right and also it avoids uh, the conflict conflicts of frequencies with a volume of course right so frequency wise um phase rotation and also a volume right so let's start by uh, setting up the plugin you need to sidechain a couple of audio sources right to put them together in sidechain so that the the plugin will listen to the other uh, audio source right and it will carve out space this is like an alternative to to tracks uh what's the name of the um, track spacer right um it's an amazing plugin but this plugin does more than the other so i think it in a man in a matter it's uh, it's better than track spacer right and so it works in in that sense but it has more more cool options i think more control so for instance uh i have here a an instrumental track and the vocal track the vocal isolated and the instrumental track right without the, the vocals so i'm gonna side chain it and here in reaper is very simple you can find out on your daw uh, how to do that but i just send this route to the track right and i'm gonna put here another um, output here instead of one two three four because if i put one one two uh, they will both be combined and i want them separated right the the vocal and the instrumental track all right so the way to do it is that you send the the source that is the lead uh source that you want you want that source to lead right and the other is the submissive track right and for instance i sent the vocal to the track and i'm gonna put the plugin in the track not in the vocal right so therefore the plugin will listen to the vocal sound and it will carve out space it will resolve conflicts with this uh, uh thing that we have that we have in the plugin right one of the main features of the plugin so once that you do that and you have i have here the plugin in the instrumental track you will see here in white this is the the vocal signal and all of the uh, gray area black gray area is the track right and here in red is putting the conflicting frequencies in real time dynamically right and you have uh, if you put resolve conflicts the plugin automatically will do the job for you it will create create some notes here uh, notes uh, that will start to um, avoid this uh, this conflict between the two sources and will start to dynamically reduce uh, in space in one source uh, in order for the other track to live in better right in this case the vocal will live better with the instrumental track right you have also mid-side processing here you have uh, q you have attack and release you have a blend knob as well and output and also you can listen with this delta mode you can listen only to the conflict the conflicting frequencies between the two of them right and i'm gonna give you a tip on that and also 
here in the input it will set uh, the this uh, mm, triangle in white small triangle in white that you have here if you want to uh, put the volume of the the input track in this case the vocal for instance uh, you can set it following that uh, triangle right and also this plugin has a very cool option here to gain stage so if you put the the amount of decibels that you have on each track on the faders the plugin will gain stage uh, will set the levels uh, properly as well all right and uh, in terms of volume right so uh, in other example we're gonna check out the rotate option right but in this case we're gonna check out the resolve conflicts uh, option right so I'm gonna unmute this and let's take a listen to the tracks Right, so let's engage the Fuser plugin in the instrumental track. It's listening already. The vocals in white. Let's click Resolve Conflicts. And you can see here all of the the reduction you have this band here you can broaden or you can widen or make it narrower with your mouse wheel like that you can create more knots like that right you can solo it as well It might be subtle, but if you start to use it in different uh, tracks, you you will start to notice more clarity in your mix uh, without the need of uh, too much equalization, for instance. So let's take a listen only to the the conflicting frequencies here. I feel it taking over. I feel it in my bones. This kills me. So you see, uh, you hear a bit of the instrumental here being reduced. Some of that is being reduced a bit when the vocals are, uh, are conflicting with the instrumental. You can like uh, put here the input. You can like put the volume if you want to increase or decrease the volume of this track, the instrumental track. Right, that's one example, and also uh, you can, of course, use mid side attack and release for more uh, control here. Slower, slower attack, skills mean everything, necessary. will react quicker. Right, the dynamic processor. In this case, it's putting in red the conflicting frequencies which are in the center 
but when our, um, some frequencies are conflicting that are in the sides, uh, it's gonna put in yellow, so red and yellow. In this case, only in the center, the frequencies are conflicting. All right, so let's move on with another example here. I have a bass that is conflicting a lot with the piano or vice versa. The piano is conflicting a lot with the bass. So I sent, I put the bass here, side chain with the piano and I am putting the uh, fuser here on the piano and let's check it out. I already Put the resolve conflicts feature here. These are the frequencies, right? In white, the bass, in gray, the piano. So that's what's reducing in the piano. Before can of course reduce this and one pro tip that I saw is that you can set in solo like that like in Delta mode the release to be like more in tempo to be a faster for instance so they they are more uh, rhythmic right and the dynamic processing is more like in tempo with the song right and finally let's check out the other way that this plugin also avoids uh, conflicting frequencies and a better use of the face uh, automatic face flip uh, phase rotation that it has right so for instance I have two kick drums here one is low kick the other is high kick so I uh, on purpose I uh, changed a bit the fa the face of one of the tracks and it's not uh, the sound that's not coming across as it should be uh, fuller with more bottom end so the f the phase cancellation that it's happening between them it's uh, it's canceling some frequencies out right so I'm gonna uh, send uh, by side chain as well one track to the other the kick out to the kick in for instance I have the plug in here the fuser and Right, the, these are the conflicting frequencies, but I'm not trying to resolve conflicts in frequencies. I'm just trying to uh, set them in phase automatically. This plugin does it also in real time. Pretty cool. This uh, control that you have here, you just click it and it analyzes the audio and it flips or rotate the face of um, the track in order for them to Put them correctly. You click, put it's uh, orange, starts to blink like that. Right? Like 133 um, to the right, positive. It uh, flipped uh, the face, not 180 not entirely so 133 right listen to the sound it has the bottom end of the lower kick drum without it right suddenly the bottom end uh, came back pretty cool it does it automatically uh, very precise and you can use it in many ways like for instance uh, two guitar tracks to that are out of phase maybe a stereo 
uh, room mics that are out of phase with the snare or something. Um, many, many cool ways, especially when you uh, have multi miking techniques, right? Super, super cool stuff by mastering the mix. So let me know what you think, my friends, of these plugins. I am very interested to know your opinions about them here. I see here uh, some comments. Uh, I'm thinking about whip, uh, wiping out Windows on my laptop, thinking about going to Linux again. How limited am I going to be? Am I making a mistake? Uh, well, Joey, uh, I don't think you're making a mistake, my friend, if you feel like you, you need to do that. Uh, the thing is that there are not a lot of uh, plugin options for Linux. That that would be one thing, right? But there are there are some plugins for for Linux, but not as much as for Windows and Mac, for sure. Um, feel free to chime in. I'd love to hear your opinions as well. I had the same idea with Linux. It's says some healer. I'm not sure the plugins like are compatible with it. Yeah, not a lot of plugins are gonna be compatible. Uh, kind of like Valhalla. Mm, yeah, the the reverb by Linda Audio, kind of like Valhalla. Yeah, the Valhalla Audio has more more algorith algorithmics uh, inside, I think. Uh, I have seen that some are native to Linux, but not many. I do not know that a Windows or Mac emulator is available. Yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest, a lot of Linux. <laughs> I have used uh, Windows all my life, pretty much. Does someone knows good virtual string strings like heavy but sus but sustained strings paid or free? I will have to uh, check on that sound healer. A VST host in Linux and then another VST in Windows. Joy, if you're really into production, I think it's the best to stay in Windows. Otherwise, plans to start it all over with plugins made for Linux. Thanks. Uh, yeah, but it has to be. A good noise, Joy. I'm a hobbyist too, but one day I'll release something professional, hopefully. So there you go, my friends. Let me know what you think of these four plugins that I checked out. And um, yeah, I'm very happy to read your comments uh, of your opinions and stuff. So before we leave, let me invite you one last time to my website, amnonhunter.com, where you can grab some additional freebies such as some free PDF guides and ebooks, also some free tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out this channel or my blog which i am updating almost every day with content like this thank you so much for watching i appreciate it very much i will see you soon in the next video all right bye bye